All right, just taking a quick look at these new Yetis from Goal Zero. These are all LFP power stations. These are smaller ones. And in fact, this lineup that they have here, it kind of competes directly with what EcoFlow offers with their new River 2s. So, you know, we will talk about the, we will do like a comparison to all the specs here. But yeah, you know how the uh, River 2, you have the regular one, the Max, and then the Pro. Well, Goal Zero, they've kind of decided to do the same thing and yeah, we will talk about the flap here in a second. But yeah, before we actually get into the specs here, <laughs> this is interesting because they've kind of gone this route where they're saying it's IPX4 rated. So that's water resistant. You know, it's not waterproof. <laughs> so you see that flap comes down. And, you know, when it's obviously in the down position, it's going to cover all the it's going to cover all the ports. But even when it's up, you know, even when it's up, the rain's coming from above generally, right? So it's still going to help. But, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting design, though. You might like it. You might not like it. There is a flap on the back, too, for all the, the input ports. But, yeah, really, this is like a light rain. And, in fact, too, you can see the cooling vents on the side. They have this, like, shingled design to them, too. So, again, it's mostly to prevent water that's coming from above to get into the unit okay so it's not completely waterproof and what's kind of funny about this actually is that when gozero first launched this product all of the images they had especially on amazon were like this you know where they showed it with the flap up um, it only took them about like a week to get, to get rid of that flap so you know i think they were concerned pe maybe people don't like it so yeah, they've updated the Amazon images. They look like this now. What's interesting to me, since they've kind of changed the image there to you know, show it without it. And in fact, I always had this thought even before they did this. I, I kind of wondered, I'm kind of guessing here that you can actually remove it. So I really wanted to get my hands on one of these units, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear anything back from Goal Zero. So unfortunately, we're stuck doing the Amazon review here. But guess what? Go, all these Goal Zero Yeti models, they have in the corners here, you can actually see the, you can see the little hole here. There's four bolts and they're completely exposed. I mean, Goal Zero, they don't try to like seal this thing up with like warranty stickers and stuff like that. No, I mean like, you know, if you want to look inside your power station, go for it. You can look inside of it. So I'm kind of guessing that you could probably just take off this part here will actually come off once you undo those four bolts. And it's just a little Allen key too. Um, and again, there's not even like caps on them. Like you can, you, you can see them. You can see them just looking at it. I'm kind of guessing that if you actually pop up this, this top cover, you could probably just remove the flap. And then there'll be like a little gap right here, you know. But still, it's not going to be, obviously, if you're taking the cover off, you're not, you're probably just using the thing indoors anyways, right? So that's why you'd want to take it off. So yeah, you know, and I guess if you're taking it on a camping trip or something, you could just pop it back on. We're going to talk about mainly the River 2 series in this, in this video as a comparison because the lineup is so similar, as I talked about. You got the regular, the Max, and the Pro. And that actually, they, they line up real similar to what Go Zero has done here with these new small Yetis. So I'll just put the chart up here on the screen and uh, you can take a look at it. We'll kind of talk about a few of the highlights here. But yeah, basically you're looking at somewhere around three pounds heavier for each of the units, you know, compared to the River 2, the equivalent River 2. And so, yeah, it is a little bit heavier. You know, again, though, the EcoFlow is all pla plastic, so it is going to just feel a little bit cheaper. You know, so, but they both have the flat top. Physically, they are pretty similar in size. I mean, the batteries, the batteries, are, they're both LFP batteries and the ratings are pretty similar as well. You can see that, you know, the actual watt hours does vary a little bit. And the charging is, it's all pretty similar, you know, for, from the wall, it's all pretty similar. And then the solar, this is, this is the interesting part. So, you know, it's 200 watts going in maximum it's 28 volts so it's not you're not going to be able to do anything you know any solar panels with series you're not going to do that with these units but the thing is 
it does accept up to 10 amps and it's the same for all of these units. So actually the smallest unit here, 297 watt hours, the, the Yeti 300, you can charge that thing with solar up to 200 watts. So that's pretty good. Now, obviously the, the bigger you go here, the, the less impressive that spec becomes. They're still using this warning, you know, do not exceed 30 volts or you will actually burn up the MPPT. Now, every other power station, they have like over voltage protection. So again, I don't, I don't know why they refuse to kind of make these updates. And that, that's what, you know, let's just talk about this real quick. These AC uh, ports here, again, the old models, they had them all jammed together. They, they still have it like that. So I don't know, this port here, this is the port I was telling you about. If you watched my Goal Zero Skylight video, this is just an awesome product. Um, it's, you know, basically it's a 25 or <laughs> excuse me, not 25, 12 foot. Where's it at? Yeah, right there. 12 foot light, you know, it's telescoping. Obviously it's not always 12 feet, but yeah, it's, you know, it's just check out my video. It's awesome because it gives you this like daylight experience at night because the light is so high in the sky. You don't even notice it. You just, everything is just lit up around you. And it is, you know, what I was saying it's designed to plug into, they actually call this a six millimeter port. So that's, that's the port. And of course you can use that light with any other power station. They do give you an adapter if you, you know, if you just have the car socket, but yeah, it's a 12 volt powered light. And if you get at least the 500 here or the 700, they're saying that you probably will be able to power your full size fridge. Now, you know, I don't, it would be, it would be like a maybe to me here. They're saying a thousand watt surge. I mean, maybe they're underrating it a little bit. They might be. Goal Zero does have a tendency to do that. So maybe it can actually surge a little bit higher. And one thing to note too, is if you step up to the 700, they basically say that then you will have 600 watts continuous, but the surge is still the same. And then to talk about the biggest differences here from let's say the old 500X, even the older Yetis, the larger ones, 1000X, 1500X, you know, <laughs> if you have one of those, you know, dealing with that power brick, trying to get that thing to charge fast with a power brick, it's very difficult. So guess what? We do have just the standard wall cord now. So this thing can handle big power. Now, as I mentioned, each of the sizes here, they, they have a different cap on it, but it's still very fast, like very fast. And then the other thing is, guess what? Maybe you like, uh, you know, you, li you like using your phone. You can monitor these things with the app. So they do get the full functionality. This was only reserved for, I think the 3000 X, maybe the 1500 X had it, but basically you had to spend like big money on the older goal zero models to get the app functionality. Guess what? You can, you even get it with the 300 here, the smallest one. Let's just kind of cap this off with a few little design details here. The screen, I love this new screen, very bright, you know, very high contrast color, you know, and then of course we get the larger display. This was, you know, was so you had to like really kind of squint at the old models, right? This one, you're going to be able to see it from across the room. And this is like, even if you have the cover down, supposedly, you know, supposedly you can see through the cover, at least pretty pretty well i guess i don't know so yeah just you know this was a quick overview of these new yetis i do like them i do think that they've improved them enough they've added the new tech everybody wants uh you know like i said the downside is the flap is questionable can you remove it maybe you can maybe you can't i guess it's not the end of the world if you can't but it might be annoying I don't know, but if you, you know, if you plan on maybe taking it somewhere where it's going to get wet, it's, it's a nice feature to have it for sure. And then the weight, yes, you know, unrivaled build quality. Yes, but you're going to pay for that with the weights. But again, these are, these are small power stations overall in general, they're small, so they're still going to be portable. It's just, you know, if you really want the lightest thing, you're going to have to get one of the plastic competitors from EcoFlow, Jackery. Even Blue Eddy, some of their smaller models are still going to be lighter than this. 
but otherwise, yeah, I do like Goal Zero in general. I mean, a lot of people will say they're overpriced. Maybe, but guess what? Goal Zero is like one of the only American companies making these power stations, right? So, yeah, does that matter to you? I think, I think it should be something to consider, you know? It should be something to consider. So, yeah, just, you know, maybe this is just a product to take a look at to put on your list now. I mean, I know a lot of you guys, you never even had Goal Zeros on your list. Take a look at it at least because I think it's pretty good. What am I waiting for? What else do I want to see? Yeah, I want to see something like around a thousand watt hours. You know, I want to see a new Yeti 1000 with all these kind of improvements, right? So I think obviously that's probably going to be coming up next.